So, what do I mean I'm switching to Ubuntu? You might see in the background here, this is actually Ubuntu now. <laughs> I know, whether I'm on Fedora, whether I'm on Debian, whether I'm on Ubuntu, it doesn't matter. I usually just make my desktop exactly the same. I'm a little creature habit, although I am fine tuning things for that ARM build I talked about in a prior video. Having said that, uh, the power usage of this laptop is enormous at times. Obviously, even right now, it's not doing that much. It's at like 26 watts of discharge, which is pretty excessive. But I actually made a tweet not too long ago that showed on blank Debian server with uh, no extra things. Right now, that 28 watts of discharge is coming from a 2080 Super. Uh, it has, this is a, probably the most extreme laptop example I can think of for power usage, but it actually was pulling 14 watts with just the integrated graphics with the 2080 super turned off. And I noticed that when I did Debian server and I was using Debian Buster, which is Debian 11, uh, it was pulling 14 watts. And I was like, what in the world? So I even contacted, reached out to the manufacturer as when we look here. This is actually uh, the old K Focus uh, from a couple years back. I think it was 2020. I did a video on this review. I'm still been using this laptop. This is, there's just a ton of power here. I'm going to be replacing it soon, but I wanted to make a video just kind of showcasing the difference between the two because with Debian server installed with integrated graphics, it was 14 watts. I couldn't quite replicate what was getting from factory settings using the Kubuntu spin from the manufacturer of this laptop. How is this possible? And I guess Ubuntu has made some customization specifically for power management. Some of the firmware integrations and non-free stuff that Debian excludes from their distro actually has a lot of power savings built in. So I'll take a screenshot and show you the bare bones integrated back on our terminal. We're just going to do a pseudo NV control is how I'm actually controlling this. And if unfamiliar with NV control, this is actually a Python project and you can switch modes and basically disable like an NVIDIA graphic, but we can also do like a, a query and say, okay, what are we on? We're on hybrid mode. And as you saw, we were using about 28 Watts. Let's push it all the way to NVIDIA only mode where it disables the integrated graphics and just says, hey, NVIDIA, control everything. And you also can see this in NVIDIA settings under NVIDIA SMI, and you can see how much watts it's pulling. And right now you can see it's pulling 13 watts. So it's a good chunk. And this is gonna switch our graphics from hybrid where it's using both integrated and NVIDIA to say, hey, NVIDIA, you control everything from the desktop to anything that's plugged into the HDMI, which I'm mirroring all this, so it's probably doing a little more work than you would see on just trad traditional, but pretty minor as far as the actual wattage spike. All right, with that done, we're going to go ahead and reboot our computer. Just do a pseudo reboot from here. Uh, this is going to reboot and use only the NVIDIA graphics. Now we're back in the desktop with only NVIDIA graphics. Let's launch pseudo power top and let's see what we're having. Everything's working off the 2080 super. Now you can see the, the discharge rate has actually dropped a little bit because it's using less of those integrated graphics. Our remaining time is still 53 minutes. So now I'm going to actually kill off the NVIDIA card completely. We're going to shut it completely down. This still requires a reboot. So with windows, I'm draining my battery, obviously, a considerable amount more than when I'm in Linux because Linux has the capabilities of completing shut, shutting down the NVIDIA card where Windows does not. But again, it's kind of cumbersome because you have to rebuild in it RAMFS and reboot your system, and then it completely shuts down that in, NVIDIA card. And now we're going to do a pseudo NV control. We're going to switch to integrated. This is going to turn off our NVIDIA card. As soon as this is done, though, I'm not going to be able to mirror the screen anymore. So I'm going to actually do a screenshot with the power top results. So this right here is the background with uh, the full results. And you can see, uh, actually, it's right over here, the 10 watts. Now, 
I could change that up a bit more, restrict it down so I can get those eight watts by turning off some CPU cores or limiting a lot of the CPU frequencies, which I didn't touch today to get all the way down there. The thing was with Debian, I could never break that 14 watts with this particular laptop. When I installed Ubuntu, I was able to break that 10 watts and get all the way below to eight, which is kind of ridiculous with very little customization for the manufacturer. Obviously, they've had it a bit more and done some more tinkering to where I think they were able to get it all the way to six watts of usage. And it's really neat to kind of see these different distributions play out. I did not expect this result. It's just something I thought I needed to share because it was unexpected. Again, I was using the non-free version of Debian with firmware. I just, it was not equivalent to what Ubuntu did and some of the, the customizations they made. So I, I want you guys to tinker around with this. Show me your base levels. Uh, I'm not saying go out and install Ubuntu everywhere. I would say Ubuntu is not as bad when you install just the server. I'm not a big fan of snaps. I just disable it. I made an entire article how I built this out. If you want to do it and not use the Ubuntu desktop, by all means, don't. I don't. And it's still the pretty much the exact same thing as what I was dealing with Debian, just with some of those uh, tweaks and customizations from Ubuntu server that I did enjoy. So I didn't have to use GNOME and I didn't have to use snap packs and you know, everything was right with the world. And it was a very pleasurable experience, even more so on my laptop because it was using less power. But go try it out. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Can you believe this? Because it was something that I just had a hard time wrapping my brain around and I tried a, a bunch of different testing results. I just couldn't ever replicate what I got with Ubuntu on Debian, which was surprising. So with that, I'll see you in the next one.